Hello friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on projection of plane. For that here is the question. A 30-60-90 degree set square has its shortest edge 50 mm long and is in HP. The top view of the set square is an isosceles triangle. Draw its projections. Measure the inclination of a plane with HP. This is the question in front of us. First, I'll draw the XY line and then explain the conditions here. Here we have XY line and these are VB and HP. Now the condition is given a 30, 60, 90 degree set square has its shortest edge 50 mm long and is in HP. So if the shortest edge is in HP, it means the complete set square is in HP. So I'll take that shortest edge and draw it here with the help of light vertical line. then marking 50 mm over it so only one of the edge is given for the set square then drawing a light horizontal line after this for a set square when you have the shortest edge here the angle is 90 from this location the angle is 60 degree so I will be measuring 60 from here So this is the set square and I'll give the notations to it A, B and C here this angle is 90 this is 60 degree and the remaining angle is 30 degree so here I get the complete triangle I'm going to make it dark <coughs> So this is the set square. Now here is the top view. The next thing is I want the front view for this set square. For that I am projecting AB onto XY line and then point C. Here the point is A dash, B dash and this is C dash. So this set square will be seen as a line in the front view. I'll make that line dark. So it is seen as a line. The next condition is the top view of the set square is an isosceles triangle. So at first this set square is kept as it is horizontally on the ground. Next thing is I'll have to keep AB as constant and fixed then picking up C I'm going to lift this set square. Now when I'm going to lift it in that case I should get it as, a, as an isosceles triangle means side AB and BC they should be equal. So for that 
the inclination is not given in the question they have said measure the inclination of the plane with HP so if it is inclined to HP it will be seen in VP so for that what I'll do here is first project this side AB Next, this side AB will be constant and then BC will be reduced. So, I'll measure the distance AB and since I want an isosceles triangle, cutting it here, this is point C, joining them light. So here the isosceles triangle we are getting ABC in which the sides AB and BC are equal so I'll make them dark Next, I need to know the inclination of this set square because this set square which we are seeing, it is not the true shape, it is the apparent shape which we get when this set square has been tilted. So here, I'll say that this is point A and B. Then I'll measure the distance from A dash B dash up to C dash. keeping this point here cutting this line this is C dash next joining them with the help of light line and then I'll make it dark So this is the inclination of the plane with HP it is seen in VP called as theta and here I'll say that it is given that measure the inclination of the plane with HP so I need to measure that Forty nine degree. <clears throat> so, therefore, the inclination of the plane with HP is theta is equal to forty nine degree. That's the answer. Next here if we see that this equilateral tri this isosceles triangle is here which has sides AB equal to side BC previously it was a set square of 30 60 90 now when I have tilted it as we can see it into the front view the shape which we are getting is an isosceles triangle so I can say that this 
this is the apparent shape and here we have the true shape then at last giving the dimension to the side which was unknown and here this is known AB is given as 50 mm Fifty mm, and with this, we complete the problem.